Alright, what's up guys? Got a pretty interesting video here for you today. In the last video I said I was going to go over this watt clamp a little bit and what the difference is using a watt clamp compared to doing the Ohm's Law method. And that's what we're going to discuss today. And that is the difference between apparent power and actual or true power. Now I'm not going to go into the full electrical engineering explanation of this, I'm just going to gloss over the subject and put this in a way that pretty much everyone can understand. Now, apparent power is going to be the generally accepted way of finding output to the actual speakers. That's your voltage times amperage equals your wattage. This is what you're going to get when you do the clamp test with the multimeter and an amp clamp. This is what you're going to get when you get those little voltage and amperage shunts off of Amazon. This is even what you can get from some big name tools if you're not using the calculation that includes the power factor. Your actual power or true power is going to be voltage times amperage equals wattage multiplied by the power factor. Now your power factor is basically the ratio of usable energy to non-usable energy based on your phase angle. And what that means in relation to a speaker is while this may be your maximum voltage and your maximum amperage, they weren't completely in unison in the sine wave. That means they have a slight phase difference between each other as the sine wave is playing. So at a certain point in time, you could be having your maximum voltage and not your maximum amperage, or vice versa. So that's why in order to get your actual true power, you need a device that will calculate with the power factor, which is going to be a watt clamp like this, or your big name tools like a term lab or an AMM1 when you're using the setting that includes power factor. So what we're gonna do here today is I'm gonna do this both ways. I'm gonna hook this up with the Ohm's Law method reading max voltage and max amperage. And I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna show you guys the apparent power of this setup. And then I'm gonna hook up the watt clamp and we're going to show you the true power of the setup and see the quite uh, large difference between them. All right, so we now have these set up on max voltage and max amperage. And we're going to come around here and I'm gonna play a 30 hertz tone and see what we get for apparent power. All right, we got our 30 hertz tone here. I'm gonna set this to volume 56 on the head unit and we're going to try this out all right we have 73.85 volts and 43.31 amps so we're gonna come over to the calculator and do 73.85. We're gonna do that times 43.31. That's 3,198 watts. 3,200 watts apparent power out of this Smart 3. All right, now we have just the watt clamp up, reading max hold wattage. And we're going to go and do the same exact test I'm going to go to volume 56 on the head unit. And we're going to try this and read actual power. Okay. 2645. 2645 compared to the 3200 that we got apparent power with the power factor calculation included, we are actually getting 2,645 watts. So you can see that's pretty staggering of a difference from the generally accepted calculation to what you're actually getting. So this is why I always say most people are getting way less than they think, even when they're using tools that they think are giving them their accurate wattage. It's quite clearly not, and it's off by quite a bit. All right, guys, that is your comparison between apparent power and actual power, and you can see how large of a difference that it actually is. Your actual true power is always going to be way less, and most people don't measure it that way. But either way, both are generally accepted and give you a ballpark idea of how much power you're getting, and it's better than just going off of an amps ratings or dyno numbers, so I will take it either way. Just wanted to give this test for you today to show you the actual difference. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.